Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for my review of Call of the Night Episode 1 First Flight. So we start off with the uh, card captor Sakura opening with one of the main characters standing on top of a building look on, looking onto the city at night. And then we go right into the opening which is catchy and gives me like a very comedy vibe or at least like a very light hearted vibe um, for the show. Character designs and animations seem good so far. Uh, love the, ca the color palette. Purples are really nice. So we're introduced to our main character Yamori who sneaks out at night for a stroll. Uh, he flashes back to school and he has some drama with a classmate who a a asks him out on a date and he rejects. We get back to him strolling at night, talking about how he can't sleep. Uh, his phone buzzes and he thinks he got caught, you know, c coming out, at, sneaking out of his house at night by himself, but it's just a half price coupon for a DVD or a CD. When does anime take place? 2005? I mean, this kid's 14, he's not buying a CD. But now I'm really actually starting to dig the animation style. He meets this girl on the street. We later find out her name is Nizuna, who catches him trying to buy some beer from a vending machine. She sort of teases him about that um, and says that she'll help him fall asleep. And part of, you know, kind of being out at night is that he has to let go of his inhibitions. She invites him to her place to get some sleep. Totally normal thing to do. And as soon as he falls asleep, she reveals she's a vampire and bites him. But actually her bite doesn't transform Yumori into a vampire. And she explains kind of why she doesn't turn people to a vampire. I actually really like this kind of like humorous take on this vampire bite interaction where it's, you know, normally treated, you know, pretty seriously in, in other shows. But apparently he could only become a vampire by falling in love with the vampire that bites him. Makes sense to me. Uh, and now he wants to fall in love with her so that he could become a vampire and sort of spice up his life. But unfortunately, she does not want to fall in love with him, but does want to teach him how to kind of enjoy the night uh, and continue kind of uh, feasting on his blood. I feel like they should have named this show. I think I got friend zoned by a vampire. I crack myself up. So I really like this first episode. I mean, I'm, a huge, I'm admittedly not a huge fan of comedy anime, but I knew what I was getting myself into. So let's get into kind of what I did like. Um, I've said it a few times already, but I really like the character design, the animation style, really dig digging all the unique colors. And at least so far, you know, on the first episode, the production quality is top notch, good music and an all around really good vibe to the show. Now, I did just say I'm not a huge fan of comedy anime, but I did think that almost all of the gags hit for me. Um, I love the puke gag where Nizuna high fives all the drunks out man and Yamori tries to get out of his comfort zone to do the same only to get puked on by them. Uh, I also again really like the humorous take on the vampire bite and how she tries to convince him it's a mosquito bite but there's like blood in her mouth um, and it's just kind of very awkward and I've never seen a vampire bite treated so awkwardly before but I was really eating up every second of it. I mean I think and, and then also I think everyone coming into the show kind of knew that she was a vampire but I did like some kind of the subtle hints that she was a vampire that Yamori kept missing like no reflection in the mirror and the elevator. Later. Well, I guess that's the only real example I have, but there, I'm sure there are probably some others that I missed. The one thing that I didn't like about the show was I thought it was like a little bit too much of like a male fantasy for me. We have this like kind of loser guy, but he's like being asked out by like all the pretty girls in his class and he doesn't care about it. And then he meets this like hot vampire chick on the street who like wants to sleep with him. It's a little much for me, but all in all, I did enjoy this episode and I'm looking forward to next week. I'd probably give this episode somewhere around a 7 out of 10. Definitely worth checking out and pretty unique um, premise compared to a lot of the other shows I've seen. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate your like or subscribe. Uh, I also do figure reviews, so check out some of those. I got another one coming tomorrow. I'm still kind of finalizing my schedule for the summer, but um, keep an eye out. I typically do two figure reviews a week and one anime review uh, episode per week.